Over the years, we've profiled a number of programs in the area demonstrating the healing power of art. Recently, art therapy students at a local college partnered with a group whose founder knows firsthand the life-changing impact of trauma. Jenna Well shares their motto of turning pain into power. Students from middle and high schools across Milwaukee given new inspiration through a special presentation at Alverno College. Today we're here with Battle Scar Kids, which is a foundation that promotes healing your traumas. How do I take what happened to me and give myself a better future, better hope? Uh, better goes for what I want to do. Milwaukee native Jamar Jackson Wilson created the Battle Scar Kids Foundation in 2016. We created this project about animated superheroes, about how you take your pain and turn it into power, which is loosely based off of my own story of losing my eye in a firework accident. I wanted to take my pain and turn it into power through animation and creative arts. The visual art project became his outlet. Now, through the foundation, he's able to spread his message. So I wanted to do this to inspire other kids. No matter what happens to you, no matter what you go through, even if it's in your own household, how do you still strive for the best life you could possibly live? It's a way to teach teens about the ability to overcome challenges and how creativity can help. In the last year, we've been just through word of mouth, just going around to schools and hospitals and showing people the projects, showing people the animation. And we have the Battle Scar Kids Foundation where we do a lot of initiatives, social emotional learning. Jamar also hosts workshops with other creatives. During his presentation at Alverno, students from their art therapy program took the stage. Pain is also an opportunity to gain strength. So it's important for me to make word that you see your face. One of those students is Drea McAllister, a junior art therapy major. The art therapy is wellness and healing using creative arts. And I just want everybody to be able to have that experience and that positive experience in the same way that I did. Drea first learned about art therapy at 11 years old when she experienced an illness that impacted her motor functions. During that healing process, I was offered art therapy as a way to kind of regain my strength in my arms and things like that. The benefits were inspiring. And through that process, I, my love for art kind of developed and I wanted to be able to help people heal. Drea shared her story with the students, relating to the Battle Scar Kids motto of turning pain into power. I saw how my trauma turned into something so Beautiful. Then students got to try art therapy for themselves. We led a activity that was based in the same thing of physically drawing um, your power um, with scratch board. So at first we had a lot of, I don't know what my power is or I don't know what to draw. Um, and so the prompt that I gave them was, who in your life do you consider powerful um, when you're feeling down or when you're feeling sad? What motivates you? A simple activity, but one Drea hopes will inspire kids to embrace creativity and perseverance. I really just hope that we convey the message that you can do whatever you put your mind to, that anything is possible no matter what the barrier is. I'm going to draw this. I embrace my frailties, therefore you can make me feel inferior about myself. That's a quote that I love. It, it helps me to embrace who I am and be everything I want to be. As for Jamar, he'll keep spreading Battle Scar Kids' message across the country, but stopping in Milwaukee is always special. It means everything because these schools that we visit are schools that either I went to or my friends went to, so to be able to come back and reinvest into their lives is it's everything. It's a way to give back to the city. I love this city. I love where I'm from, and I want to show love to our city.